What's up guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Chevy Equinox can take you to some really fun places like camping, bike riding, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that installation for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Our first step in installing the trailer hitch is to remove two screws located under the bumper using a T15 Torx spec. Our next step is to lower the exhaust. First, we're going to support our exhaust with a support strap and then remove a rubber retainer that's holding it in the middle. To remove the rubber retainer, I'm gonna spray it with soapy water and then use my exhaust hanger pliers to remove it. Next, we're gonna to have to remove two bolts from each side, holding the exhaust bracket to the frame using a 15 millimeter ratchet. To fully lower the exhaust, we're gonna have to bring the exhaust bracket down. Then gently pull on the fascia to get the exhaust underneath the bumper. Now with the exhaust out of the way, we can go ahead and begin to install our hardware. We're gonna have three attachment points on each side. We're gonna use our fish wire technique with our spacer and carriage bolt. Our three attachment points are gonna be here, here, and here, using this hole for our access. I'm gonna feed our fish wire through our attachment point and out through our access hole. Next, I'm gonna feed the spacer through the coil and then attach our bolt. You'll wanna feed the spacer through first and then the carriage bolt. Pulling the wire until the bolt drops into the attachment point. We'll go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have the underbody prepped, we can go ahead and get our hitch into position. I'm gonna be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one, it is a good idea to get an extra set of hands as this hitch can be very heavy. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Before we raise the hitch all the way up, we're gonna wanna move this wiring harness out of the way so we don't pinch any of the wires. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull all of our fish wires through the corresponding attachment points on the hitch. We'll 
We'll go ahead and repeat on the other side. Now we can raise our hitch into position, making sure we don't push any of the hardware back up into the frame. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install our hardware. One by one, and I'm gonna take each fish wire off, install the conical tooth washer, making sure the teeth are facing the hitch and our 18 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten each bolt with a 18 millimeter socket. We'll go ahead and repeat on the other side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and torque all of our bolts down to manufactured specifications. If you need those specifications, click the link down below for the instructions. Now with our hitch installed, we can go ahead and raise our exhaust back into place and reinstall all of our brackets. We're gonna go ahead and reattach our rubber isolator using some soapy water and remove our support strap. Lastly, we'll go ahead and reinstall our two screws. With our hitch installed, we've pulled our vehicle down to level ground. Let's go ahead and get you guys some important measurements for your hitch accessories. First, we have a two inch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper, we have five inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver, we've got 11 and a quarter inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. That wraps up our trailer hitch install. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. If you have any questions about the product seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.